MCV 41, Chapter 2, Session 3. In this session, we are working on Section 2.1 of the textbook, which is the derivative function. By definition, derivative of function y equals f of x at x equals a, which is denoted by f prime of a, is limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h as h approaches 0, provided that this limit exists. By comparing the definition of the derivative at point A and the slope of the tangent line at A, we'll see a frame of A is same as the instantaneous rate of change of F at A, which is the slope of the tangent line at X equals A. First example, determine the derivative of f of x equals x2 at x equals negative 3. f prime of a is limit of f of minus 3 plus h minus f of minus 3 over h, which is the same as limit of minus 3 plus h to the power of 2 minus 9 over h as h approaches 0. By algebraic manipulation, we'll see this limit is limit of negative 6 plus h as h approaches 0, which is negative 6. Therefore, the derivative of f of x equals x2 as x equals negative 3 is negative 6. An alternative way of writing the derivative of f at a is f prime of a equals limit of f of x minus f of a over x minus a as x approaches a. Basically, we are claiming limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h as h approaches 0 and limit of f of x minus f of a over x minus a as x approaches a are the same. To prove this, we assume x minus a is h, therefore x would be a plus h. As x approaches a, x minus a, which is h, approaches 0. Then, if we substitute x minus a equals h and x equals a plus h, We'll see the two limits are. Question number two, example number two. Determine the derivative of f of x at an arbitrary value of x. f prime of x is the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h approaches 0. f of x plus h is x2 plus 2h x plus h2 minus f of x which is minus x2 over h as h approaches 0. Uh, we simplify and then factor, reduce it to h, f prime of x would be limit of 2x plus h as h approaches 0, which is x. Determine the slope of the tangent line to the parabola at x equals negative 2, 0, and 1. We know the derivative at x, which is the same as the slope of the tangent line at x, is 2x. Therefore, when x is negative 2, the slope of the tangent line is minus 4. When x is 0, the slope of the tangent line is 0. And when x is 1, the slope of the tangent line is 2. One more time. Mm -hmm f prime of a is 
slope of the tangent line and instantaneous rate of change of f of x at x equals a are the same. We define derivative in a way that is similar to the slope of the tangent line and we know i rock of f of x at x equals a at the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y equals f of x at x equals a are the same. The formal definition of the derivative, the derivative of f of x with respect to x is a function f prime of x, where f prime of x is limit of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h approaches 0, provided that this limit exists. Let's find the derivative of f of t equals square root of t when t is greater or equal than 0. By definition, which is also known as first principle, f prime of t is limit of t plus h minus f of t over h as h approaches 0. f of t plus h is the square root of t plus h. f of t is the square root of t divided by h and the limit of square root of t plus h minus square root of t over h as h approaches 0 is derivative. To find this limit, as we've done a couple of times in previous chapter, we rationalize the numerator by multiplying by the conjugate by the conjugate and dividing by the conjugate. Therefore, the limit would be the same as limit of h over h times square root of t plus h plus square root of t as h approaches 0. We reduce the fraction and we find the limit. The limit would be 1 over 2 square root of t. Therefore, the derivative of square root of t is 1 over 2 square root of t. Function derivative. Next example. Determine the equation of the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals 1 over x at the point x equals 2. We find the derivative f prime of x equals limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0, definition of derivative. f of x plus h is 1 over x plus h. Therefore, f prime of x is limit of 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x over h as h approaches 0. Common denominator between 1 over x plus h and 1 over x is x times x plus h and the fraction can be written as 1 over h times minus h over x times x plus h which is the simplified form of the numerator. If we reduce it by h the derivative would be negative 1 over x plus h times x as h approaches 0, which is negative 1 over x2. Therefore, the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x2. So far, we found the derivative of two functions. The derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x, and the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x2. To write the equation of the tangent line, what we do, we find the slope of the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line at x equals 2 is negative 1 over 4. f prime of 2 and the slope of the tangent line are the same. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 is the equation of the tangent line. That means y minus 
f of 2, which is 1 over 2, equals negative 1 over 4 times x minus 2. The question is asking to write the equation of the normal line, the line perpendicular to the tangent line. We know the slope of a line perpendicular to another line is negative reciprocal of the slope of the line. That means this, the equation of the normal line is y minus 1 over 2 equals 4 times x minus 2, which can be simplified as 8x minus 2y minus 15 equals 0. The graph of 1 over x, tangent and normal line at x equals 2, drawn in this diagram. The normal line to the graph of f at point A is the line that is perpendicular to the tangent line. The existence of the derivative or differentiability. We said the derivative of f of x at x equals a is limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h as h approaches 0 provided that this limit exists. In some cases, this limit does not exist. And we say the function is not differentiable at A. The function is differentiable at A if f prime of A exists. When the left side limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h divided by h as h approaches 0 and the right side are not the same, the limit does not exist. If this limit is infinity, which means the slope of the tangent line at A is undefined or the tangent line is vertical, the derivative does not exist. And when function is discontinuous at A, the derivative is, does not exist, the function is not differentiable. Therefore, in three cases, when we have cusp, vertical tangent line and discontinuity, the function at the point is not differentiable. The classic example is f of x equals absolute value of x. At x equals 0, this function is not differentiable. You know, f prime of 0 is limit of f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 over h as h approaches 0. This limit would be limit of absolute value of h over h as h approaches 0. The right side limit of absolute value of h over h as h approaches 0 is 1 and the left side limit is negative 1. Since limit of absolute value of h over h as h approaches 0 does not exist, we say the function is not differentiable at x equals 0. Two good examples are f of x equals cube root of x and cube root of x2. At x equals 0, the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y equals cube root of x3 is, x is undefined. The tangent line is vertical. And at x equals 0 from the right side, 
the slope of the tangent line is positive infinity and left side is negative infinity, we deal with cos point in this case. Another notation for derivative. We use f prime of x to show the derivative of f of x as we've done so far in this chapter or y prime and the other notation is dy dx dy dx is derivative of y with respect to x. It's called Leibniz notation. dy dx is limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches 0. If we use the definition of derivative and find the derivative of x2, we see the derivative of x2 is 2x. Therefore, we say the d dx of x2 is 2x. If we use the definition of derivative, first principle or limit of f of x minus f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0, we see derivative of 5x plus 1 is 5. Therefore, d dx of 5x plus 1 or d 5x plus 1 dx, which is the same as saying derivative of 5x plus 1 with respect to x is 5. Let's recap. f prime of a is limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h as h approaches 0, or limit of f of x minus f of a over x minus a as x approaches a if the limit exists. f prime of a is the instantaneous rate of change of f of x at x equals a, which is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y equals f of x at x equals a. A function is said to be differentiable at a if f prime of a exists. A function is differentiable on an interval if it is differentiable at every number in the interval. The derivative of f of x as a function of x is denoted by f prime of x and it is limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0 if the limit exists. To find the derivative of f of x at x equals a, we use difference quotient and we find limit of difference quotient as h approaches 0. The derivative of f prime of a can be interpreted as either the slope of the tangent line at a and f of a or the instantaneous rate of change of f of x with respect to x at x equals a. One notation to show the derivative of y equals f of x is f prime of x. The other one is y prime. And the third one is dy over dx. dy over dx is called Leibniz notation. The normal line to the graph of f of x at the point is a line that is perpendicular to the tangent line passes through point P. To understand what we've done in this chapter, please solve the questions from exercise 2.1. Question 1, part A, D, B and F. 
question. Five part B. Question six part C and D. Question seven part A and B. Question ten and question fourteen. Thanks for watching.